Welcome to New Saturday Dorama TV. I am Angela Ayumudin. First, the headlines. Federal government doesn't negotiate until we go on strike. Resident doctors. NMPC will declare first dividend to Nigerian Sum, Kiari. It can end local government boss honored. Wrestling to fetch Nigerian first medal at Tokyo 2020. Please beg the video not to sack me, is your DMW wheels. better he don't land oh dt money don't land it the way you get company where they import where they sell original abf board mbf board and all them accessories with they sell screw machine circular saw tippings screw pin bedlock and pipes and all other accessories they for cool where they last well well for dt money with they sell land with they build house and also with they do estate management all our customers they talk say DT Money, na number one. We did for shop two. Onikbe Paro, Chagamu, Ogo State. Our telephone number na 081-685-30919. Or you can call us also for 0808-624-5229. Our email na fatugashewolabi19 at gmail.com. DT Money Innovations Limited. Quality and affordability. On top stories today, federal government doesn't negotiate until we go on strike, resident doctors. The president of the Association of Resident Doctors at the National Hospital of Abuja, Dr. Akinomio Obiong, on Monday said the federal government barely negotiates with health workers until an industrial action is introduced. NAD and on Monday resumed its industrial action over unpaid salaries and benefits. Doctors are also demanding the immediate withdrawal of a circular removing house officers from the scheme of service. They had embarked on an earlier strike in April, leaving many patients unattended to across government-owned hospitals in the country. The strike was suspended 10 days later after they met with federal government representatives, but Ibong said only a little progress was made since then. Still on top stories, NMPC will declare first dividend to Nigerian soon, Kiari. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation will declare its first dividend in Nigeria as it prepares to release its 2020 financial statements in the third quarter of this year. The group managing director, Mele Kairi, said on Monday. Kerry disclosed this in Lagos while delivering an address at the opening ceremony of the Nigeria Annual International Conference and Exhibition organized by the Society of Petroleum Engineers. He said, Everything we are doing must align with the wider national interest, and therefore, NMPC being the representative of representative of all of us and is of course a very potential global player. This is our ambition and we are getting there. And I can tell you within the next month or two maximum, we will publish our statement of accounts for 2020. And I can also confirm to you that for the first time in our history, we will declare dividend to the Nigerian people. Kira said the corporation will pay a key role in the global transition to low carbon energy in the nearest future. And on local news today, Ikene Local Government's boss honored. The executive chairman of Ikene Local Government, Honorable Ulushe Gugule, was on Sunday honored by the Great Ambassadors Club of the Peru. Honorable Ogule, who is also the vice president of the club, was honored for his immense contribution to the club and most importantly to celebrate his recent election as the chairman of Ikene Local Government.
and on Sports News today. Wrestling to fetch Nigeria first medal at Tokyo 2020. Nigerian search for a medal at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games became a reality on Monday after blessing Oborodudu qualified for the finals of the women's freestyle 68 kg in the wrestling event of the Games. The 10 time African champion started a campaign event against Elise Manolova in the first round of 16 and dominated the European champion and world championship bronze medalist with a 10 to 2 victory by technical security with points scored by opponents to advance to quarterfinal where she faced Metin, 2018 Asian Games bronze medalist. The close encounter saw the Nigerian prevailing at 2 to 3 victory by points with points scored by the opponent. The semi-final bout, which ensured that Nigeria was certain of the first medal, saw Obrodudu taking an experienced opponent, Mongolia's Betsegui, to the cleaner with 7 to 2 points to set up a final clash against number one seed American Tamara Miriana Stock Menesha on Tuesday, August 3rd. Finally, on entertainment news, please beg the video not to suck me. Is your DMW Wheels? The video's personal logistics manager, Israel Afiari, aka Israel DMW, has begged Nigerians to plead with his boss for the report he has been sacked. There have been allegations to the DMW boss sacked Israel DMW after he took to the social media to drag the FBI following the order to arrest Deputy Commissioner of Police Abakari for his alleged involvement with the popular fraudster Osh Poppy. According to Israel, Nigerians are not helping the situation with their negative comments on the social media. Speaking forward, Israel said he is currently depressed and Nigerians should apologize to the video on his PR. Israel, who is known for his constant praise singing of his boss, also apologized to the Joel singer, adding he was oblivious of the graffiti of his deed until Ruby Franklin called his attention to it. He wrote, You people should kindly help me beg my organ to sack me, Tree's personal lawyer Jiggy, than adding to my current depression of pressurizing him to send me off. What would be you people's gain after nine good years? I never knew the gravity of my actions until Bruce Franklin personally called to tell me. I am really sorry. And that is on the news at 8 on Remote TV. For more news updates, you can follow us on all our social media platforms Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Official Remote TV. You can also check our website www.remotv.com.ng. I am Adela MD. Good night.